that he can. Amen. Do I have at least one witness Amen. in this place on this evening yes, sir. that know that Jesus came? Amen. Yes, Amen. I, I didn't say you think he cares. I know. You feel no, like no. it, but when you know, know. Yeah. Yes, without know. a shadow of doubt in your mind, that he cares. That's good news. Yes, yeah. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap of praise. Knowing that we have someone who cares about us. Amen. And somewhere in the scripture, I believe it says, cast all of your cares upon him, Amen. or he cares. This is one of those times, family, where you must cast all of your cares upon him Amen. and know that God cares. Yes. I was in that same seat just last week, Amen. so I know he cares. Amen. Amen. My grandfather was in that same spot last Saturday. But nonetheless, God is able. Yes. Yes. We do, first of all, we honor God realizing that God is our Father. Yeah, yeah. We honor Jesus realizing that He is the Son and our Redeemer. Yes. Yeah. And we honor the Holy Spirit, which is our Comforter and our Guide. Yeah. Amen. We honor these great hosts of preachers, Elder Bush, Elder Henry, Amen. all the other preachers that we honor. All that we honor you in your respective places. Amen. Teachers, mothers, saints, friends, a lot of God. And everybody. And we honor this, my family. Another full statement. Might not look well now, but it is well. Mm -hmm. It may not feel well, but it's well. Because this is a part of God's divine will and his pleasure. Yes. As sure as we live. Yes. Amen. We, we got to die. We didn't yes. come here to stay. Yes. We pass through. And after a while, life. Good and cut off if you have your Bible with me. I promise you, you give me about 10 minutes and I'm going to be out of your way. <laughs> Turn to the book of Hebrews. Somebody laugh when I see it, but I'm serious. Give me 10 minutes and I'll be out of your way. Amen. Amen. Hebrews, ninth chapter, 27 verse 10. Following that, we're going to the book of Revelation, chapter 20. Verses 12 through 15. When you find the shop back, word up. Word up. Hebrews 9 and 27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, what did somebody say? It's judgment. Judgment. Revelation 20. Verses 12 through 15. And I saw the dead, small and great. Standing before God. And the books were open. And another book were open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they will judge every man according, think somebody say, to their words. Yes. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. We accept the prayer. That man's meant to walk there. I want to preach him a short while. I want y'all to help me. Look at somebody and say, neighbor. Yeah. After death. After death. What? What? Look at somebody and say, neighbor, old neighbor. Neighbor, old neighbor. After death. After death. What? What? My short years of being here, never the part of the survey, I discovered that we as people, have a misconception of what death is. Uh, we as people, we feel that when you're dead, you're done. Uh, uh, we as people, we feel as though as when the doctor say it's finished. 
we, we, we feel that, that once our loved ones have been picked up by Henry Wood, mm -hmm. we feel that as the blood has been drained and the bombing fluid has went in, it's done. Mm -hmm. We feel that as we sit in the seats at the funerals of the memorial services and look upon the caskets of our loved ones, we feel that it's somebody help me preach. <laughs> Amen. I mean, you talk back to me. I sit down a little quicker. Right. We feel <laughs> that when what man say of life is over, that is it done. Uh -huh. Well, truth of the matter is, when we do what we say die on this side, yeah. there's a point where our lives are just beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we as people on this side, we make preparations in our lives for everything. We, we, we prepare to go to school. We, we prepare to go to church. We prepare uh, to go home. It seems as though we have everything planned out on this side. We, we, we know that we're going to get off work at 5 o'clock. We know that we're going to go home and we're going to get in the recliner and take a nap. Yes. And after we nap, we're going to get up and get something to eat. Yeah. We, 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 know, we, we know that when we go to church Sunday, after Sunday, when we get out, we're going to stop by Abel's or Grandmama's house and, and eat a meal before we go home. Uh, 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 not only that, but when we have children, before our children even go to daycare, before they even start walking and talking, we're planning to send them to car. Okay. Uh, uh, you're planning for something that you really don't know whether they're going to make it to that point, y'all. Yes. Right? Yes. But, but, but we're planning for things on this side. But, but truth of the matter, we fail to plan. <laughs> Y'all will hear me preach. <laughs> for the other side. We, 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 we don't plan for that life which is to come. Right. And I ain't talking about life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm talking about making sure your soul is insured. <laughs> I, I, I'm talking about making sure that you are in the right place with God so that when you transition from this walk of life, that, that, that your name will be written in the last walk of life. I, I, I'm so glad on this evening that, that God keeps a record of all that we say and do. I, I, because that record will be pulled one day. And, and when that record is pulled, if your name is not found written, amen, in the book of life, the Bible says, mm -hmm. in a lake of fire. Yes. Yeah. You will be cast. That, 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 that's bad news. Yes. But, 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 Truth of the matter is, while we're on this side and I'm almost done, we have time to get this thing right so that when we leave here, we can die right. Hmm. We, we, we have time to get ourselves in order. Why? Because we're still sitting here breathing. Hmm. Remember, say, after death. Hmm. What? Yeah, after the obituary has been written. After the funeral service have been held. Yes. After we've gone to the cemetery hmm. and said ashes to ashes, dust to dust, what's going to happen? All right. hmm. Lord, the Bible said that one day Jesus is going to come back. Yes. Yes. And the Bible said that Gabe was going to put one foot on sea hmm. <coughs> and the other on land. Come on now. Hmm. And the trump shall sound. Okay. Hmm. And the Bible said that the dead in Christ yeah. shall rise first. Yeah. And they that remain shall be called up to meet him yeah. in the eyes. Yeah. Somebody missed the Bible. Didn't say that they that died and won't didn't have their business right before we get up. But the Bible said they that died in Christ. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They shall rise first. Right so what am I saying, Neil? If you don't have yourself together, if you don't have your business fixed on this side, when you lay down, you won't get up. Amen. When the dead in Christ, you won't get up, but you can't get up when the dead in Christ. You won't be caught up, but you can't be caught up when the dead in Christ. Because there's a place for you. Why? Because you had time. To get it right. I said I wouldn't be here long. I've been here nine minutes and 54 seconds. I said, can you give me two more lines? I don't know about you, amen, but, but when I see Jesus, I want to see him in peace. I, I don't know about you, but when I see him, I want to hear him say, well done. Yeah, I don't know. 
business one day. Uh, amen. And the Bible story goes on to say, uh, amen, that his friend sent a flower. Uh, amen. For the grand opening for this business. Uh, I'm going to a seat right here, JT. I'm glad you're in here. Uh, amen. He sent a flower. Uh, amen. For his friend's business. Uh, and the Bible the story goes on to say that after he got to the grand opening of the business, uh, he wanted to see the flower that he had sent to his friend's grand opening. And he looked on the reef. Amen. And on the reef, it had RIP, rest in peace. Uh, and he got angry and he got upset because he couldn't understand why in the world, amen, when they sent a flower with rest in peace to his friend's grand opening. So he got mad and he called the florist. He said, Look, I don't understand this thing to send a flower to my friend's grand opening. It said RIP. And, and that's not what I had there. And after he had apologized to the man, he said, I'm sorry, there must have been a mix-up. I'm sorry, there's been a mistake. He said, But can I tell you, amen, that one good thing that came out of this? He said, What good thing come out? He said, Somewhere on somebody's grave, there's another flower that says, Good luck in your new place. <laughs> 